Hi everyone, today I'm showing you how I drew those little blackberries. They were for a contest organized by the Colored Pencil magazine. I knew that the drawing would take me many many hours so I decided to tape my paper onto a board uh, so that I would be able to uh, move it easily and not damage the paper. To do so I used some artist tape which is low tack but uh, even though it's low tack, since I was using a brand new paper that I'd never used before, I didn't know how the paper would react. So I tried to remove some of the tackiness by um, sticking it to my to my arms and hands to make it less sticky, I guess. I do that pretty often when I use tape. When you draw and you want to achieve a realistic um, drawing, the um, the key is to really observe your reference photo. You need to look at every single detail. Uh, like for instance, the, the blackberries, it was pretty easy because you can use each little ball of the blackberry and observe all the colors you see on them. To help uh, look for the, all the details, I usually keep my reference photo in Photoshop and I have my laptop in front of me so I can zoom in on the areas I'm working on. Um, so again, for the blackberries, I can zoom in on the, the each individual ball, or at least each individual blackberry, and I, I try to see all the colors that I see um, in that area, and I prepare all my colored pencils. I have a color chart for, for each pack of colored pencils that I have, so it helps me uh, select the color that I need. Once I have all the colors that I saw on the picture, then I start layering them um, and putting the colors in, in the right areas. Um, after I, I put down the initial layers of all the colors that I saw, I use a, a solvent, um, which is actually a, um, a odorless mineral spirit. And I let it dry and then I, and then I move on to the next blackberry. So. Um, but I did um, see lots of different colors. For the red ones, I used a lot of yellows and oranges. Um, the uh, the highlights were not that white. They had a lot of they had a lot of pink, but they were not very white. Also, I did originally draw around the highlights to keep them white and neat to keep the white of the paper. For the black blackberries. Um, I used a lot more colors for them. Um, there's, I used some blues and purples and reds, um, and I even used well, I did, did use some black for the very dark uh, shadows. But I even used some green because I noticed that uh, on the bottom part of them there was a lot of uh, reflections from the leaves. So I did use some green, and it actually looked really nice, a lot more natural looking. So once I was done with the initial set of layers um, and then I blended them with the, uh, the solvent, um, I worked on the rest of the picture and I basically used the same technique for the rest of the picture. I didn't want to complete the blackberries right away because I knew that um, when I worked around them uh, there would be there would be even if I'm using a, a paper to protect the drawing from my hand there would still be some smudging so I knew um, I knew that I had to go over them again later on but I didn't want to finish them right away
I use my Caran d'Ache Supra Color color pencils for the background. They are water soluble. So it is again basically the same technique as the one that I use for the blackberries, which is adding um, several layers of colors and just um, blending them with water this time rather than a solvent. Um, it really helped me uh, start with the background much faster. I also wanted to test my new uh, Caran d'Ache water brushes. This one, the red one, has a uh, felt tip. It doesn't have bristles, it's nice and firm, and I thought I'd give it a shot. The barrel is pretty easy to fill, just it has a, some kind of pump action. So put it in a cup of water and pull it out and you're pretty much all set. Um, I tested it on a piece of scrap paper and I tried to compare it with um, an actual brush and also the uh, one of the other Caran d'Ache water brushes that actually has bristles um, and it's pretty cool um, it didn't it didn't seem to blend the colors too much well it did blend the colors well it dissolved them with the water which was great but it didn't really push the pigments too much so we could still see them so uh, I ended up uh, blending um, or dissolving all the background with this water brush which I kind of like and uh, once I was done uh, with that initial layer of uh, water soluble pencils I used my regular pencils um, and I added um, a layer of details and this time I blended the, the layers by burnishing them.
Once the whole paper was covered, everything was established. The foreground, the background, the details in the leaves and the blackberries. I sprayed my uh, drawing with a fixative and let it dry and it added um, a little bit of texture to the paper and allowed me to add more layers. So then I went over everything um, to add more details again and uh, freshen up the colors. I always do that. I think it adds an extra depth to the drawing. Um, it makes the colors brighter and uh, because I think that when you go as you work on your drawing uh, some areas might become dull so um, by adding more layers after you spray your drawing um, in my opinion it makes your drawing look, look much better and you can also it allows you to add more details if um, you didn't have enough anyway I think that's about it uh, if, you, if I forgot anything, if you have any questions, please ask. I'd be more than happy to um, answer all your inquiries or if you have any comments, just leave them below and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!